Hello, Helen. Hi. So you've come for your results? Yes. Looks like you've been anxious about that. I'm ready. I'm ready to hear okay. what you found. So we looked at all the Hokum genes. Yes. And we have found an alteration in one of the ones that we examined. Okay. And we're convinced that this alteration explains why you've got your heart condition. Oh, okay. So that's come from my dad then? We can't be sure because we don't have your dad to test, but okay. it's possible. Okay. Okay. So that makes me like my dad then? Well, we all share things with our relatives in our genes. Yes. Yes, yes, I guess. Yeah. But uh, it is quite possible, given that he had a sudden heart attack. You're under medication, so that obviously is much less likely. Do you feel that it's been helpful that we found out why you had your symptoms? Well, yeah, I mean, now that I'm getting treatment, I feel much... Uh... I feel relieved that we've caught this and I'm now getting medication and I'm being looked after. Um, but I feel, well, knowing for definite that it's an inherited sort is pretty, pretty crap, really. You feel that's, that's not so yeah. good. So that means, there's, that means I'll pass it on to my children, doesn't it? It means there's a possibility of that. Would it be okay if I explained yeah, yeah. how so that it's, works? It's, it's inevitable that I pass it on or not? No, no, okay. it's not inevitable. So you remember that I mentioned that we had two copies of every gene, one from mum and one from dad? Yes. That's also true of this Hokum gene. Okay. And you have one gene that doesn't have anything wrong with it and one gene with an alteration in. Okay, yeah. And although you've got a good gene, you have symptoms of hokum. Yes. And that's because we call that dominant. So the altered gene dominates so that's, that's the good the, gene. that's uh, the hokum dominant. Yes. Okay, so it's you. a gene with a spelling mistake in it. Okay. But then when you come to have children, you give one of each gene in your eggs. Mm -hmm. So half of your eggs will have the good gene in. Yeah. And half of your eggs will have the altered gene in. Okay. So it's 50-50. Okay. A bit like tossing a coin, whether your children inherit the good gene or the altered gene. Okay. And then they will have another gene from Fred. Okay. From their father. So it's 50-50 chance of passing it on. So you're quite right. Usually when we find somebody has an alteration like this in a gene, they have usually inherited it from one parent or another. Yeah. So it, it might have been your dad, but we won't be sure. Yeah. But it does mean that your sister Elizabeth might have inherited the same gene alteration and be at risk of heart conditions. Okay. So it would be really helpful if we were able to get that information to Elizabeth so that she could get good advice.